projections of solids by using AutoCAD software. First, you go to AutoCAD screen, switch off the grid mode, and switch on the ortho mode, and type the command limits. So here, the lower left corner is 0, 0, upper right corner is 297, 210, then zoom all. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point, click on the first button of the mouse, and drag the mouse to the right side, and take some distance, and click on first button of the mouse, and again you drag the mouse to the upper side and take some distance and click on the first button of the mouse and go to offset take the distance as 297 select this vertical line and offset to the left side again you go to the offset take the distance as 210 and you select this horizontal line and offset to the top side then go to zoom extends and zoom 0.6x then go to fillet between this line and this line similarly Fillet between this vertical line and this horizontal line. Fillet between this horizontal and this vertical. Then go to zoom window, take near to the screen and go to date text. Specify start point, select some point, arbitrary point and then click on the first button of the mouse and height as, specify height as 4, the rotation angle is 0 and type the problem number 153. So here a pentagonal, lamp, pentagonal, uh, pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and uh, 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its slanted edges draw draw the projections of the pyramid pyramid when the axis is inclined to BP at 45 degrees then just go to zoom previous then go to zoom window then go to go to layer so here click on new layer so take the new layer as XY and then click on new Type the layer as locus, then click on new, type the layer as uh, axis, click on new layer, click on visible, type the visible layer, click on new layer, type invisible layer. Then set the layer 0 line by default as 0 0.05 and say OK. Set the layer XY line line weight as 0.13 and say OK. Set the locus layer line weight as 0 0.05 and set the layer axis uh, layer line weight as 0 0.05. Then click the layer visible and set the line weight visible as 0.5. Then uh, set the invisible layer line weight as 0.3. And then we need to change uh, invisible layer line type line line type as hidden. Just go to library type hidden type h and say ok click on hidden and say ok then come down to axis line type in axis layer then click on load take the cursor here type center and say ok click on center and say ok then come down to locus click on uh, load type to dash dot and say ok and click on dash dot and say ok so this is how you will be able to change your line types and line weights and close the layer command. Then go to polygon, take the number of sides as 5, take the edge option, select some point and drag it to the downward direction and take the distance as 25. Then go to line, int of this and perpendicular to this. Then similarly line, int of this and take perpendicular to this. Then go to fillet between these two, then go to line, take int of this and int of this and int of this. Then go to line, intersection point of this and uh, intersection point of this. So now once you get this, then select this and go to CH and go to layer and change this layer as visible and switch on the line weight display then go to escape then go to line try a horizontal line 
then go to offset take the distance as 50 select this horizontal line and offset by 50 mm then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this again go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this and then go to fillet between these two and fillet between these two then go to line int of this and int of this and int of this then go to line intersection part of this and intersection part of this then go to erase then go to break this line till here then select this and you select this and you select this and go to layer make that layer as visible and then go to select on this line go to layer you make this as axis and change the line type scale factor as 10 and then escape then go to group select this entire thing and group it then go to copy select this and copy to the next position and then go to rotate since this is the slantage take this take int of this and take reference and take int of this and int of this and rotate with respect to this then go to move select this line and take this uh, to the nearest nearer to the first position and go to line int of this and draw a perpendicular then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this similarly line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to trim select this as a trimming object and trim this then go to line int of this and draw this then you take line int of this and take perpendicular to this then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then similarly line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line draw draw a line from intersection part of this to perpendicular to this then go to line int of this to perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take intersection of this and take int of this and take intersection part of this and take int of this and take intersection part of this and take i of this and take intersection part of this and then go to line int of this and int of this and take intersection part of this then go to break select this line take first point int of this and say at the rate and they break first point int of this and say at the rate then break select this first point int of this and say at the rate then break first point int of this and say at the right then go to zoom window select this then you select these lines all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible and then the surface near to the observer is visible and these two surfaces are also these two lines are also visible then go to layer to make that as visible then the edge only this line and the edge which are corner which is on xy line which will be always in the front view is always invisible in the top view go to layer take it as invisible and take the distance as 10 so once you get this now we go for a group take this as the group select this entire thing and group it as single then go to line select this line intersection of this and draw a horizontal line and from here you take int of this and draw a horizontal line and from here you take another intersection line then go to ddim go to modify go to primary units you make this as a uh, you make this as a second decimal point and then go to text uh, take the text height as 4 then align with the dimension line centered is above then offset from the dimension line is 3 then go to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as 4 then go to lines Take the offset from the origin as 3 and say OK. The horizontal, take intersection point of this 
and draw intersection point of this and you will going to get 46.01 now we go for a line uh, you just go to the slant one of its slant edges in the axis of the pyramid so here uh, axis is inclined at 45 degrees to VP then go to line take nearest point on this and take at the rate 100 less than minus 135 then go to circle take nearest point and take the radius as 50 then go to break select this arc circle and break it in anti-clockwise direction so then go to line take intersection point of this and draw a horizontal line and then go to fillet between these two then go to circle take center of this and take the radius as 46.01 and then go to break select this and break it and from here you select this and break it then go to move sorry then go to copy select this and copy this from intersection point of this to center of this then go to rotate select objects select this and take the base point as intersection point of this then take reference take 180 degree and then int of this so automatically that line will going to be having the axis at this point now we go to break select this and break this line till here then you select this and go to layer to take this as locus and say this is 0 0.5 or you take uh, file so then escape then go to zoom window select this and now you go to break break this line and from here you break it on this side and from here you break it on this side then go to line take intersection part of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and take perpendicular to this so you got this slant edge once you get this then go to line take int of this and then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take int of this and draw horizontal line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take int of this and draw horizontal line and then go to line take intersection point of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then uh, fill that between these two then here then go to line take endpoint of this and take intersection point of this and and take int of this then uh, here then go to line take intersection point of this and take endpoint of this and take int of this here then go to zoom bit then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this and take end point of this then go to line int of this and take intersection point of this and take int of this and take line int of this and take intersection point of this then go to break select this first point int of this and say at the rate then go to zoom window then go to break select this first point take end point of this and say at the rate similarly you just go to this here and here both the lines are uh, coinciding so here you just go to break select this first point int of this and say at the rate then go to select on this all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible and the surface near to the observer is visible and uh, since these two edges are visible so naturally this edge is also visible and go to layer you make this as visible then you select these two two visible edges can never cross each other therefore these two edges will become invisible 
and you make this dash uh, 10 then you come down to this and you type 10 so then you just click on this and you make this layer as axis layer and take the line type as 10 then go to break break this line uh, till here and break this line till here then go to zoom previous click on this click on this click on this and click on this then you make this layer as xy once you do that now you just go to ddim go to modify go to primary units make it as zero and say okay and say close then go to dim vertical take int of this and take intersection part of this and take 50 mm then go to d uh, sorry then go to vertical select this you make this line keep it 25 and uh, you select this uh, dim angular select this line between these two so this angle will be 45 then you go to dim angular select between this line and this line and then you go to text give space and enter then here you type MT select this uh, window then go to symbol select the symbol switch off the caps lock type small letter B beta then go to zoom window select this then go to move select this and you switch off this ortho mode you type B then go to dim T D select this line uh, dimension and bring it nearer now we go for D text then go to D text switch on the ortho uh, caps lock type X type VP type HP and here you type capital letter Y and come down to this small letter A B C D E and you small letter O and you keep it in O1 in bracket then similarly you just come down to this A dash then come down to B dash come down to C dash come down to D dash come down to O1 dash then E dash in bracket and then you type O dash once you do that then go to zoom window select this near to the screen then go to move switch off the ortho mode move this and place it appropriately VP then HP then here A here it is E here it is O here it is O1 here it is B here it is C here it is D here it is A dash here it is E dash here it is O1 dash here it is B dash here it is D dash here it is C dash here it is O dash then go to copy select objects you select this copy this here then you copy this C dash here then go to B dash then you copy this B dash then here it is O1 dash here it is A dash here it is E dash then uh, copy C here it is O here it is uh, A here it is E here it is uh, D here it is B here it is uh, O then you take a type here it becomes O1 which is it should be visible and then this O1 will come here which is visible then go to copy select O and copy it here then take A and copy it here then E you copy it here then B you copy it here C then you copy D then 
then here go to the text here um, the text so you type uh, o dash here you type a dash here you type b dash you type c dash you type d dash you type e dash you type o1 dash then go to move select this and move it here and you select this and you move it here then a dash then e dash then d dash then c dash then o1 dash so once you do that so this is how you'll be able to complete the drawing then go to zoom previous then uh, you just go to save go to appropriate drive e autocad solid drawings and type p153 and save and finally